Let's make one of my favorite soups that's extremely flavorful and is absolutely best for the rainy evenings. There is a story up ahead why it is one of my favorites. Let's start off by cutting the tomatoes into four quarters. And remember one important thing, that it's important for you to leave the pulp and the seeds. Don't remove them, because it's like 30% of the soup. Coming to the onion, wash and peel the onion. Then cut the half into four quarters, so you get good layers. Next, we take the red bell peppers. If you don't have red bell peppers, you can also use the yellow. And you can also mix both of them and use them together. We will cut the red bell peppers the same size as the onions and the tomatoes, the Macedon size. All the ingredients that I've taken are raw because I'm going to roast them in the oven. If you don't have an oven, you can use a skillet and saute them in that. Here I've taken garlic, I've uh, put some oil and salt and wrapped them in silver foil. Okay, now that we're getting things ready, let me tell you the story. The reason why I love this soup is because when I was a child, I used to love soup. Not soup, but one company called Nor used to make this tomato soup. For me, this soup was not that special, but the breadcrumbs that they used to give inside was the gift for me. But I grew up and I got to know that why don't I make a fresher version of this tomato instead of this powdered version that I get inside the packet and I have to just put boiling water inside and I get the soup. Let's make a healthier and better version of it. I have no complaints to Nor. Thanks for my childhood treat. This what we're making is the secret to the soup because this will give that umami taste. Umami is a Japanese word that means essence of deliciousness that gives like a deep flavor and savory taste to it so that it has all the balance in it. As we're talking all the roasted things are ready, the tomatoes, the bell peppers, onions and garlic. They just looked so charred and yummy. And as we're talking, we can't forget the croutons. We are making roasted tomato soup, right? You cannot eat tomato soup without some crunchy croutons. Some people also like some cheese toast with it. But I love croutons because that's how I used to get it in my childhood. As we're talking, we're nearly done. All the recipe for everything will be in the description. You can find it. We just get everything together. A dash of cream and the roasted garlic that we had in the oven. And this is a vegetable stock that I'm taking. And I just add a pinch of salt and we're done. We're ready to blend it. So then we blend it and look at that yummy orange color that we are supposed to get. And here it is. This is one of my favorite soups that I used to love and I recreated it with some crunchy croutons. Do subscribe to my video if you like the content and remember to stay hungry.